stage the Princess Peach of Richmond Comedy, <laughs> Kelly Anderson. Hey. Kelly! Hey. Finish it off right. That's all okay. Damn it. Um, <laughs> actually, I am recently single, so yeah, that. Um, everybody in relationships have deal breakers, and everybody's deal breakers are different. Uh, lady up front, give me a deal breaker. Like, what would make you break up with a guy? Um, this is news to me too. Right? <laughs> Listen up. I don't know. That's tough. Okay. Anybody else? Deal breakers? Anybody? Funky breath. There you go. Bad teeth. Bad teeth. Okay, so you're going to break up with a You shouldn't go out with a guy with bad teeth anyway. But that is a deal breaker. I will tell you, I've heard all kinds of deal breakers. Like, he won't kill spiders is a deal breaker. He won't go down. My deal breaker is uh, he doesn't have a plan for the zombie apocalypse. Because that shit's going to happen. And if you don't have a plan, we can't be together. So I'm saying, I'm not getting dead because you're a dumbass. <laughs> No, what we really broke up over is that we had a, a pregnancy scare, and I thought, oh my god, I cannot reproduce with this idiot. <laughs> but, but that was my first thought. My second thought was, really, I need to say yes to anal more often. And I can't afford for these beasts to get any bigger because they're already held together with safety pins and coats. They're about to break loose. Like a fucking monster from Cloverfield. You're not even going to be able to like, focus the camera on it. Everybody will be running. It'll be bad. I don't know. Dad, I hate kids. I do hate children. You and Kiki. Thanks, I think. Um, I have a lot of free time on my hands lately, so my um, cousin has got me watching her kids a little bit. And I had to go grocery shopping, so I took one of my little nieces with me. And well, you have to be careful about what you say in front of these little fuckers, too, because we were in the car, and I flipped down the mirror, I'm like, oh my god, I don't have any makeup on, I look like shit, and I flipped the mirror back up, and we go into Whole Foods. The whole time we're walking around, she's going, nobody look at her, she's not wearing any makeup, and everybody's staring, because she's saying this to all the strangers, and then she's like, look, see, I told you. And then they were really staring when I kicked her kneecap out, <laughs> and put a note on her that said, please take, and left her ass out in the parking lot. <laughs> either. Swear to God, you can't get rid of shit around here. Uh, no, she's adorable. Her name is Lexi. Uh, she's about six years old. And uh, I am seriously in fear for this little girl because she let her sisters duct tape her to the wall. No, no, no. I shouldn't say let. It was her idea to get duct tape to the wall. This little girl's either going to need therapy later or she's going to end up on a pole. Like, honestly. <laughs> That college one is just going to go straight to therapy. But she's, she's also the little girl that uh, I convinced had a duck living in her butt. Yeah. She was over my house and she farted and it was like, Brr! and I was like, oh my god, is that a duck in your butt? And she's like, oh my god, oh my god. So she's like shaking her ass at the duck pond trying to get it to get out. And literally, like, hold her skirt up and was like, get out, get out. But, uh, <laughs> I get an angry phone call from my brother-in-law that's like, why does Lexi think she's a duck living in her butt? And I told him the story, and I was like, he's like, you can't say stuff like that. And I was like, well, you better hide your Tic Tacs, because I told her that it's breath stank, too, so you don't know where she's going to be trying to put those next. Uh, yeah, that didn't go so well. Okay. All right, that's it. I'm going to end on that note, and you guys have a great night. Thanks for playing along. I know, I'm sorry. I run high. I run high. Right? All right, everyone. Please welcome your next comedian coming up. He once finished third in a write-in Jack Nicholson impersonation contest. Your next comedian, Mr. Steve Zahn. Brian right, Garland, everybody. That's all he got was a woo? Come on, you can do better than that. Brian Gartland, everybody. Yeah! Give it up for Bill running this whole thing. And give it up for Tony the bartender. Still be the camera. Oh, give it up for everything you can pull.
question mark, god damn it. We're here to have fun tonight. There's no sense in being fucking mellow. We're here to have some fun. Damn right. Damn right. From the guy coming in front. They're eating in front of a fat guy. <laughs> bad idea. Too bad they're already finished. Shit. <laughs> but uh, speaking of eating, Girl Scout cookies are bad. Yeah. That means my doctor's now on speed dial. <laughs> That's a diabetes joke for you. Those of you who didn't get it. <laughs> but uh, you know, you know, you're in a hipster neighborhood or a college neighborhood when even the hot girls are walking down the street carrying 12 packs of PBR. <laughs> I'm only saying this because I actually saw it earlier, and this is a college neighborhood. Uh, <laughs> all right, the weird shuffle. <laughs> Uh, I see uh, quite a few weird things on a daily basis. Not that I'm not weird myself, but I like to judge people <laughs> in case you haven't figured this out. Now, now, one of the strangest things I've seen in recent memory is a woman with the license plate that reads God's good stopping in the parking lot of my work to turn around and slap her kids in the back seat. Yeah. I'm, God's good, but God ain't going to be good to that woman. I mean, how, how about being in a restaurant? I, I saw this a couple months ago. A, uh, a family of four, a, uh, obviously a husband and wife and their two young children were there. And one of the kids knocks over the mother's drink. And before the father handed the mother a napkin to help wipe up the spill, the guy took another bite of his burger. Now that's just fat. And I know a thing or two about fat. Nothing? Alright, thank you. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Yeah, the bomb. <laughs> By bomb I mean suck. But no, uh... <laughs> no, I, no, I... Continuing on with this, the strange things that I see, I saw uh, recently a guy... Uh, I know how these uh, trendsetters like to uh, wear their hats around with like the uh, the stickers and shit still on the hat. I saw a guy wearing a fucking sale price sticker on his fucking hat. How much more stupid do you get? The only thing stupider than that that I've seen is a guy trying on clothes at Walmart saying it's swagger. <laughs> you got high priorities, folks. <sighs> But uh, I got a couple quick, a couple more quick ones for me. Now I get out of here. Y'all are, are just laughing at my awkwardness right now, and it's kind of making me sad. Now, am I seriously that funny, or are y'all just laughing at me? Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. microphone off. But no, I'm not saying uh, Kim Kardashian's marriage was short. I'm just saying that it's taken me longer to run a mile. <laughs> yeah, fat joke. I had, to, I had to squeeze in a fat joke before I got out of here. Anyway, I appreciate this lively group up here laughing. I'm Steve Zahn. You have a very good night. Thank you. Your next comedian is to the Cafe Vian Comedy Night what goldfish crackers are to the cracker aisle. Please welcome Thomas Carl. <laughs> Travis Carl! I'm going to read what it is from now on. Fuck me! I'm so sorry, man. It's alright. I see my reputation has preceded me. <laughs> Um, I read today that Richmond has the highest rate of unwed teenage mothers in the state of Virginia. And when I read that, the only thing I could think was, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> not easy. Um, I had my birthday not that long ago. And uh, I made the mistake of spending my birthday with my parents, which is always a bad idea. Because, uh, well, they claim I have a drinking problem, but then for gifts, they got me shot glass checkers and a case of beer. Oh. Yeah, which is cool, I got something I wanted. 
But uh, if we're if we're gonna go down that line of thought, why not just rolling papers and porn next year? Uh, how about KY and a hooker? Yeah, medical tubing and syringes. New cooking spoon. We could get weird with it. How about eleven copies of Catcher in the Rye and a rifle? That's a smart joke. All right, here's a new one. Uh, you know what I fucking hate is uh, Canada. You wanna know why? Because they have the stupidest names for things. Uh, you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're all aware of British Columbia. That's a stupid name for a place because they've just taken two unrelated countries and smashed them together. That'd be like if we had a state called French Mexico. Yeah, that better than I thought it I spent, yeah, I spent my birthday with my parents. Uh, I got to see my little sister, which is fun. Uh, she's my half-sister, and she's what I like to call racially ambiguous. She's one of those people who could be like Asian or Latino or like Indian, like you don't know. And she's like The Rock or Jessica Alba. And uh, I'm a shitty brother. I have no idea what her ethnic background is. And way too much time has passed for me to ask her. You can't grow up with somebody for like 22 years and then just like turn to them over breakfast one morning and be like, Hey, what are you, Mexican? <laughs> no? Alright, pass the bacon. <laughs> I just keep like taking her out to lunch at ethnic food restaurants and going, uh, Your mom ever cook me like this? <laughs> no? Alright, I'm Chinese. <laughs> um, I'm actually not from Richmond, so I don't know this area very well. Y'all got hookers around here? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna tell you a hooker story. The first time I ever saw a hooker, I was in uh, I was in San Diego, California, and I was working outside of a shipyard, and uh, and what happened was I was sleeping. It was like four in the morning, and I woke up in my shitty motel room. You know it's a shitty room when your door opens out into the parking lot and not into a hallway. But anyway. <laughs> funny part of this story. I wake up and shit's like hitting my window like somebody's throwing rocks at the outside of my window. So I put the chain on the little door and I crack it open and I look out and the dude in the room next to me has picked up a hooker and then tried to pay her in a big bag full of change. And she got pissed and started throwing change at him in the parking lot which was bouncing off my window. Now uh, I'm not here to judge the guy and say you know you shouldn't get a hooker. But, uh, hit a coin star first. It's called class, people. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, my wisdom tooth pulled. And for pain, the dentist prescribed Vicodin. And on the warning label of the Vicodin, it said, warning, alcohol may increase effect. Which I don't know about you people, but where I come from, that's a recommendation. <laughs> that warning label should end in the phrase, what are you, a pussy? <laughs> Alright, that's it for me, thanks. For the rest of the night, I'll be reading names because I can't retain from there to here one goddamn thing. Please.